Dear God, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why you gave me that flat tire today. I, honestly, I'm at the end of my rope right now, and I wish you could let me know what your plan is here. Because my plan? God, I am trying my best, but things are still tough at work, and if there's another job out there you want me to take, please let me know. Let you know? Okay, I heard that, you creep! Stop messing with me! I'm not messing with you. Show yourself, pervert! Kelly, settle down. You called me. I didn't call anyone. Technically, you did. Don't mess with me. Kelly, you called me? Now, I understand your shock. But to be honest, I I'm always a little surprised when someone who believes in my existence, like yourself, doesn't expect me to show up every once in a while. Okay, let's talk about your flat tire. My flat tire? Yeah, a moment ago you blamed me for your flat tire and I, I was wondering why. No, I understand as the creator of the universe I could cause a flat tire, but why would I? You tell me. Touché. Well, the short answer is, I did not cause your flat tire. Now, of course, as the creator of the universe, I created the laws of physics, which made it possible for your tire to be punctured, but, I mean, that's like blaming Steve Jobs for a drop call because he created the iPhone. Do you have any creamer? Okay, so you're saying that you're God, but you don't have any effect on the world you created? Mostly, I'm just offended at the flat tire thing. Because your focus is on affecting the bigger things? Like what? I don't know, maybe. The Holocaust? What? No, I was Listen, not Listen, it's the gonna... Nazi elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. I was not- World War II happened on my watch. It is a legitimate argument to blame the captain, right? Wrong. God can't be in charge of every stupid thing humans do. All right, so what you're saying is that I'm sitting up on my cloud, listening to prayers, deciding which ones are good enough to answer and which ones are best ignored. Oh, and... I- oh, well, uh, Let me finish. And then, oops. Somehow I missed all the prayers about Hitler. Well, no. Well, what other possible explanation could there be? So you're saying that prayer is useless? No, you said that. I think you're full of it. Because the real person in charge would take far more responsibility for their actions. Responsibility for their actions? I like that. Well, it's true. Agreed. Completely. It's tough though, isn't it? I mean, it'd be so much easier if we could just blame our problems on someone or something else. If we believed that our choices weren't actually up to us, you know, that we were limited or constrained or, for lack of a better term, that someone had a plan for us that we weren't responsible for. That everything that happened to us had a purpose and that nothing was ever random or just by chance, but... No. Kelly, you're absolutely right. I think it is about time that I admitted I'm in charge. Don't you? Well, I gotta go. I'm just gonna... Thank you. It was really nice talking to you. Okay, then what should I pray for? Pardon? I mean, if, if God doesn't fix flat tires or stop wars, then what should I pray for?